Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to go over what you can do to help an issue that you might be running into with either your iPhone or your iPad when you're trying to install applications. And it's putting me in this infinite loop where it says this Apple ID has not been used in the App Store. Review your information, log in, and then it boots me out and it keeps this infinite loop. And I'll show you the instance of what I'm going through. So let's say I wanted to install the YouTube application. So I'm here in the App Store. I looked up YouTube and then I can go ahead and click where it says get and then click install and then enter in your password that is associated with your Apple ID and then click sign in and then here's this message that I'm getting where it says this Apple ID has not been used in the iTunes store tap review to sign in then review your account information so I click review and then it says sign in required please enter your Apple ID and password to create an iTunes store account from your existing Apple ID but the problem here is it doesn't even give me the option of typing in my Apple ID but that's alright I'll just enter in my password and then click sign in but then it boots me right back to this beginning message where it says that this Apple ID has not been used in the iTunes store before and then if I click review again and then it asks me to sign in again and every time I enter in my password it's just booting me back out so it's not allowing me to install these applications. So what we're going to do to fix this is cancel out and head back to your home screen and then open up your settings and then once you're in settings over on the left hand side of the screen click the tile that has your name there in the upper left hand corner where it says Apple ID iCloud Media and Purchases so we're going to click on that and then what we want to click on next is where it says payment and shipping and then go through this area and add a shipping address and a billing address. So first I'm gonna click where it says add shipping address and then enter in all that pertinent information and click done. And do the same thing where it says billing address and click on that. And again, type in all the pertinent information here and then click done, which is in the upper right hand corner. And then finally, you wanna click where it says add payment method, which is right there at the top. So we're gonna click add payment method. And then in the payment method area, you have the option to do an Apple card. You can do a credit or a debit card and just enter in the number, the expiration date, and the CVV code right in that area. Or you can also do PayPal. So for me, I'm going to do PayPal, so I'm going to click on that option. And then I'm going to click login to PayPal and set up all of that pertinent information. And now I'm all set up and good to go with my payment method. And now after entering in that information, I'm going to go back to my home screen and then open up the App Store. And then where it says YouTube, watch, listen, stream, I'm going to click get and then click install. And then again, it's asking for my password for my Apple ID. So type that in and then click sign in. And then it says this Apple ID has not been used in the iTunes store. So I'm going to click review again. And now this time it's not putting me in that infinity loop where I couldn't continue on with the process. So now it's asking to go over the terms and conditions and then click next. And then it says Apple ID complete. So I'm going to click continue and then again I'm going to be trying to get the YouTube application so I click get and then install and then again entering in my Apple ID password and then click sign in and finally it's going through the process of installing the YouTube application so I don't know why it was so difficult I don't know if you guys are running into a similar issue but I hadn't set up in my iTunes account my address for shipping my billing address and my billing preferences so because of that it wasn't allowing me to install applications so I had to go into my account settings enter that information in and then at that point in time I was able to successfully install applications but just going through the application installation process the first time it was putting me through this infinite loop where it was asking me to log in to my Apple account to set up that information but then it was booting me back out and taking me through those same prompts again so I wasn't getting anywhere I finally figured out out how to solve this issue and I hope if you're running into a similar issue to what I experienced that this is helpful in guiding you in the right direction so I appreciate you guys stopping by consider subscribing and I'll catch you back here next time